activate. This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. You have friends, you have co-workers, you have family members in your life who just don't want to have anything to do with God. They think uh, Jesus is maybe a good teacher, was a good man, but they don't think it's worth believing in. <clears throat> and they may have, you may have had discussions with them about God, but uh, you may not have. And they have some opinions about the way God is and the way God should be. And they want to know why God does things or doesn't do things. And why does God allow certain things to happen? Why doesn't he? And it's interesting, in this study today, we're going to take a look at how the world really sees Jesus. There's really four things that, that they seem to embrace, the, the world seems to embrace in the way that they look at Jesus. And if you can know these things and understand these things, then you'll understand where your friends and family are coming from, why they think the way they do, why they feel about God the way they do. Uh, and people have drawn these conclusions for several reasons. One, because um, they have seen other people who say they believe in God, specifically Christians, uh, who are just abusive of their beliefs and the way they behave and the way they act. And really, let's face it, there are going to be an awful lot of Christians who have a lot of uh, fessing up to do uh, because of the way that they've acted and the way they've treated other people, other other non-Christians as well as other Christians. I'm embarrassed by some of the stuff that I see, the way that uh, some Christians behave and the, the things that they say and um, the, the approaches that they have. It's just, it's just out of character. It's just not the way that God has taught us and the way that Jesus represented it. And um, it, it's, just, it's just silly. It's just not, and it's damaging in some cases. And then in some cases, it's just downright hateful and sinful. I mean, you know, when you look at the extremists, and there are extremists in, in every group, but you look at some of the extremists, for example, um, the Westboro nuts, you know, those, the, those people, I'm sorry, those people are nuts, and uh, they, ha they don't have a scriptural leg to stand on, none. They are so in violation of the Word of God, and their attitude is so hateful, and they all do it. They say they're doing it in the name of God. Well, as we saw last Sunday... Uh, the uh, the medieval uh, crisis was was in the name of God also, and uh, the Reformation was all happened during that time. And then there are people that uh, even today we have the 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 um, the militants and the extremists who are doing their things in the name of God. And so people look back at that and they say, "Is this really the way God is?" Because if that's the way God is, I don't really want to have anything to do with that. And uh, if and if that's not the way God is, then why doesn't God do this, or why does He allow this to happen? And there are all these questions that people have about God. Herod was one of those people. Herod was one of those uh, people that wanted to know. He had some questions, but his approach was um, pretty much the way the world approaches. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope it was a blessing.